Hello my dear students, welcome to my channel Learning Hub. So, agenda of this video is memory environment of the variables. It is a part of uh, working with functions only. So, the question usually which is asked is draw the memory environment of the given program. So, memory environment means uh, we have to basically draw how the references are being done when we are storing the variables. So, we have local environment which LEGB rule which I already explained in my previous video. Local, global, enclosed and built in. So, uh, these all variables are declared and how these variables are stored in the variable we have to draw that particular diagram. So, this is a common program this is a simple program in which the definition the execution will start from here there is a variable y and function call is made this function will it, it has a parameter x which will accept the, the value of y it will just print it then increment it by 2 and then it will divide it by 3 and if you want you can write one print statement also print x again so after that the control will go back here and then it will print the value of y so if it, the question comes to draw the memory environment so you what you have to do first of all the variable is stored in the memory location so you have to just first of all draw the memory suppose this is the memory one two three four is the data which is stored in memory it may be stored beforehand or it may not be stored before beforehand so uh, suppose this data is already there on the hard disk its memory location is suppose 200 216 232 and 264 this is the memory location and when we declare the variable y I explained in my earlier video when we declare any value it is stored in the memory location and reference count is created and reference count is increased by 1. Reference count keeps the track of number of variables pointing to that particular value. So what it will do in the global environment in global environment it will declare the value variable y which will point to this particular value it will point to this particular value after that function call is made so it will what it will do it will create a local environment inside the global it will create a local environment and in which because it is accepting x one more variable is created x and x will, will again this will also point to 1 and reference count will in become 2 now because 2 variables are pointing to the same value. After this it will print the value and then again the increment is done by 2. So the value of x will become 3. Now the value 1, 2, 3, 4 is stored suppose. So this is 200. This is 200. This is 216. 200 uh, to 32 and 264 so what it will do this y will remain the same in global and it will point to 1 this is not changed but in local x will now a value of x is 1 plus 2 that is 3 so it will point to this 3 now and reference count of this will become 1 become 1 and reference count of this will become 1 so now new it will point to the new value at different memory location now again after that it will divide the value of x by 3 so value of x was already 3 3 divided by 3 is 1 what it will do it will again in next step it will again point it to this and reference count will increase by 2 and here reference count will become 0 again in the after doing it will print text and the control will come here again now as soon as it will come out of this function it is scope will get over now when it will come here in next step what you will do you have to just draw this global environment and this is the data 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or whatever and this y 
will again point to one. This is the last step which you are going to do. So this environment you have to draw a question is asked draw the environment of the given program memory environment of the given program so i'll take another example uh, take care this is for immutable immutable means the va the variables uh, the data type whose value value cannot be changed like uh, like string like any other uh, identifier if x is equal to 3 it will remain 3 only. We can override the value. Similarly, if S is equal to SS, we can override the value of SS, but we cannot make it SA. So, and uh, mutable means like list or dictionary, which in which we can change the value. So, now I will go ahead with immutable data types. So, this is a program of mutable data type in, in which we will be handling list. So, how memory environment is created when we use mutable data type so if this is a program in which we have created a list l and a function l we have called function l this will send the list which we already created which will be accepted in l1 and then printing the list then changing the value of first element to 2 and then print the list Again return after that the control will come here. So in mutable as I explained in my previous video that mutable uh, when we are handling mutable data type when we are passing list as an argument so original list is changed. In immutable data type original value remains same and local value is local variable is created and whatever changes are there in local variable it is not reflected in global but in this case when we uh, talk about immutable uh, data type so original list is changed so in this case we will start program from here so it will create a new list l and this list will point to a particular memory location it will have three elements 0 1 and 2 three elements are there this element 0 will will point to the reference of it contains 1 so wherever 1 is stored its reference that is 100 is stored at in 0 index so this will point to 1 this will point to 2 and this will point to in this way it happens after create this line it will call the function l again it this l1 will accept the value and l in a local environment is created in which l1 is there and l1 will again point to the same memory location wherever list was stored if it was stored at 200 so it will be it will store it will also point to this particular memory location and elements are pointing there only wherever it was pointing before call of this function now it will print the value of list after that it is changing l1 first element to 2 now it is increment the it is overwriting the value of 0 that is this one this one is uh, now it will point to 2 rather than 1 because the value at index 0 is 2 so again we will draw this this is the first step and second step zero, one, two. this is the index global environment is created l is pointing to this one only similarly local is also created l1 is also pointing to this now 0 is changed 0 will become 2 so 0 will point to 2 1 will again point to 2 and 2 will point to 3 it means 1 and 2 will remain same only the value of 0 is changed 
So 0, index 0 and 1. Both will point to 2 and its reference count will become 2 now in this case. So you can see the difference between previous uh, example and this example. In this original list is being changed. After that, it will print the list and return. Once it will return, this, this local environment is... It, is, it will come out of local environment and it will work in global environment. So, this is the last step which you have to do. Again, you have to write, show the memory, 1, 2, 3, 4 or 8, whatever values are stored. And whatever values are there, then 0, 1 and 2. 0, 1 and 2. Now, this is global environment. This list will point to it's the same memory location. 0 will point to 2. 1 will also point to 2. And this 2 will point to 3. So, the finally, we can see that the original list is being changed. Now, we will go to the third example. So, this is the third program in which we have to draw a memory environment. So, the program will start from here. It will define a list with only one element and function call is made and for the, uh, the control will be passed to L1 and uh, this, this line and L1 contain the value of L reference. Wherever reference uh, L is pointing to, that reference is passed and then it will print the list, append the uh, one element in the list and another list is defined that is x and l1 is equal to x means now l1 will contain x and then return and finally it will print it. So how it will uh, work, how memory environment is to be drawn. First of all the execution starts from here. It will define a list global environment l and it will point to, it will point to the memory location where list is stored. This is index 0 and index 0 we have 1. So this will point to 1. This will point to 1. So after that it will call this function L1. So another in this is the first step. In second step you will again draw this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And this is at 2000, we have another index and this is the global environment and it is pointing to this. And now local environment is created and in local environment, we have another list L1 and this is also pointing to same location and element 1 is pointing to this value. 1. Now what it will do? It will append the value 3 in the environment. Uh, sorry, in the list. So what it will do? It will append one more. This is the third step. Take care that you have to draw it again. So it will append the value. This is another index. Index 1 will be there and this will point to 3. This will point to 3. Now L is also referring to this location. L1 is also referring to this location. So global and local will change the original value only. So now the new list for L and as well as L1. Both, is, both, are, both have two elements 0 and 1 index that is 1 and 3. Now in next step it will declare another list. So you will draw it again. 1, 2, 3, 4 and then zero and 1 global environment. So this is the list and local environment L1. This is pointing to this and this is also pointing to this and suppose this is at 2000 0 contains 1 and 1 contains 
3. So now after this line it will create one more list that is of name x at another location suppose suppose 5000 and it will contain two elements 0 and 1. 0 will point to 3. 0 will point to 3 and 1 will point to 4. So two elements are there. Two lists are there in local environment and in next now you can see L1 is referring to X. Now original global value will remain same. Now it will just it contains the value of X. It means it will point to X now. So rather than this was pointing to the value where L was stored. This L was stored. Now it will both will point to this. This will also point to this and this will also point to this. Both will point to this memory location. Wherever the these values were stored. After the uh, function is over, local it will come out of local environment. Now the original list 1, 2, 3, 4. The value 0 and 1. And this is the global environment. Now it will come out local environment. So we will only show local environment L. This will point to this. 0 will have 1 and 1 will have 3. So the rest things will remain same. Only local environment is destroyed now. Means it will come out in global environment. So I hope you understood the concept. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and hit the bell icon. Thank you and have a nice day.